Tamara Holmes is uh, just a young girl from Maywood who had a big dream to live beyond uh, and experience life beyond her circumstances. Um, born in a family of seven children, um, number three of seven, and uh, was very, I hate to call kids bad, but uh, I was very energetic and uh, boisterous and, um, and adventurous. And I, I found myself in a lot of trouble because just lack of focus and direction as a child. I was always very um, astute when it came to school, very uh, good at school, but life was hard. School was really easy. And um, I, I found myself in a lot of trouble. And so I wound up uh, in the back of a police car one time. And um, that's when I realized that I had to be smart enough to save my life. It's, it's not so much that I found aviation. I think aviation really found me. Um, my mom, as most moms do, make their kids get up on a Saturday morning and say, you're not gonna sleep all day. Uh, so my mom made me get up and go with her brother downtown to what I found out was an airport, uh, Meg's Field. And uh, when we got there, I saw um, a lot of uh, commotion, a lot of young kids. And we went inside and that's when I realized that it was an airport. Um, and I saw a bunch of black guys giving kids airplane rides. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, what is this? Where are we? Um, we were at Maxfield um, with the Chicago chapter, the Tuskegee Airmen. And um, the, it was my turn to go up and the pilot uh, took me up in the airplane. And he asked me, did I want to fly the plane? Now, he didn't know me and uh, he had no idea what I was capable of uh, and how um, adventurous a, of a child I was, but uh, he gave me the opportunity. Um, he, I took control of the airplane, we turned the plane around and I was flying over Lake Michigan facing the city of Chicago and that was it. Uh, that day changed my life forever. So, so my, def my defining moment um, as a professional coming out of college, I landed my dream job at a Chicago-based firm um, called Langerman Brown. Oh, it, it's actually an um, international firm, but uh, I, I landed a job in the Chicago office. And um, immediately, um, I, I found out about how big the world of aviation was. As an aviation consultant firm working on airport planning and design projects all over the world. And um, I had only really known about what I experienced in school um, as a student, which was flight training, mechanics, the usual pilots, flight attendants. And uh, never did I know or understand about urban planning or designing airports, uh, designing airport buildings, uh, airport facilities. Um, and operations. It was just, it was extraordinary the amount of companies and projects that were uh, being worked on. My 90 day re review was on September 10th, 2001. And uh, my supervisor told me that I would probably never be in front of the client. And um, I don't know if I laughed out loud, but I know that I did not. Um, I, I didn't respond favorably to that. Uh, he also mentioned to me that while I um, exuded a lot of personal confidence, I might um, remain aware that my um, that my coworkers could reflect or respond negatively to that. And I'm like, so I'm too confident for my coworkers? Okay. September 11th happened and they laid off what seemed like everybody but me and a few other people. Uh, we went from an office of about 110 people to 14 uh, overnight and I was literally in the client's office every day. Um, and because of September 11th, I was able to get about probably 20 years worth of aviation experience in 10 years or less. And I remember um, going and talking to kids at school about um, what I did for a living and how important my job was as an airport planner.
And I just remember thinking these kids have no clue uh, what's out here. They couldn't tell me who the Tuskegee Airmen were. They couldn't name any notable person in aviation or aviation history. And so um, while working for that firm, I worked with a lot of minority and woman-owned business contractors. I was promoted within five years um, of working at that company to be the business manager of the Chicago branch. And, um, and I saw that um, as a organization that had contracts with the Chicago Department of Aviation that we were having a hard time meeting um, our minority and woman-owned business contractor goals. Um, we have goals in the city of Chicago, of course, to, part to have minority and woman-owned business participation on contracts. And when I saw um, that we needed help in that area, I went to the president and the vice president of the company and said, I'm a woman, I'm a minority, and I need a business enterprise. And they stood behind me 100%. Uh, my first contract with that firm was almost six figures. Um, I walked away from all of that to give back to kids and start the Aerostar company, which was originally designed to be an aviation consulting firm, uh, but it has now turned into a full service aviation academic consultant firm to provide kids with the opportunities to explore aviation pathways and careers that they would have never otherwise known about. So that was huge for me uh, to be able to sacrifice um, what I knew uh, and what I still know my earning potential is to be able to sow those seeds into the next generation of aviation professionals. So the work that we do uh, is from the heart. It's actually, um, I like to always say that we're changing lives. We're, by giving kids an opportunity to pursue uh, pathways in aviation and aerospace, we're actually, we're actually um, designing, helping them design a future for themselves. Um, I've, had, I've had parents tell me, you know, one mom told me that her, I'm forever a part of her son's story. And, um, and that meant a lot to me, you know, that an encounter with me as a mentor and as an instructor in aviation and aerospace, her, her son is now a licensed pilot um, pursuing aviation at a university. We've had, we've had students who have gotten their pilot's license before their driver's license. We've had kids who turned their grades around, turned their attitudes around, went from being uh, truant and, um, and, and in trouble to leaders in the school um, and examples. We have... Uh, we have um, just opportunities for kids to find out about um, careers in aviation and aerospace, things that they're interested in that they would not have known about otherwise. And we have students who um, want to pursue aerospace engineering, architecture, and design, um, kids that love uh, to just be in and around airplanes and uh, help pursue their passion. Um, not only that, we're moving the needle on poverty, um, that their life would be completely different than what they've known um, financially because of the um, opportunity to pursue a degree in a highly lucrative uh, field in transportation. So the work that we're doing, um, we're literally giving wings to dreams. We're allowing kids to dream bigger, to soar higher, to uh, pursue and to uh, go after lifestyles and uh, education that they would have never had an opportunity to do otherwise. So uh, we're proud uh, as Aerostar to have a team of individuals who are dedicated to the service of um, opening up the eyes of young people in Chicago and around the world um, to careers in aviation and aerospace and opportunities that it would afford them, uh, not just for themselves, themselves but for generations to come.